Welcome to Alec Ant Customs, where in this video, I'm installing a line lock in my old C10 for maximum burnouts. Should be fun. Alright, so now that I got the truck sitting on the lift here in the shop, I'm getting ready to start working on it. But before I dive in and start tearing everything apart, I wanted to show y'all kind of what I'm doing to the truck. I'm going to show you the parts and uh, what they do before I install them on the truck. And what I'm doing is I'm installing a, a line lock on the front brakes so that I'm allow I can uh, lock the front brakes down and uh, release the rear brakes for a do better burnout like when I'm in the burnout box at a drag strip I can lock the front brakes down and release the back brakes and I won't be killing the, the rear brakes and stuff won't be putting extra load and strain on the engine and transmission I can just hit the brake pedal press the line lock button and uh, the front brakes will lock the rear brakes will uh, disengage and I can throw all the power to the back tires and uh not get them nice hot and sticky for the drag strip or if I'm just showing out somewhere in front of folks I can do the same thing and lay down some big old hairy burnouts but uh it's kind of what a line lock is used for uh people also use it the normal way to use it or where you're supposed to use it as hot riders use them a different way but what you're supposed to use them for technically is for like hill climbs and stuff like that when you're in a stick shift on a steep incline you can and when you're trying to take off, you can press the brake, hit the line lock, and it locks the brake so you can get it in gear and get it moving. But uh, us hot riders has found a different use for it, so that's what I'm using mine for. So this is what a line lock is right here. And uh, it's just a uh, solenoid with uh, the body, valve body of it under here. And uh, this is from TCI Automotive. And uh, that's what it is. Uh, when you hit the button, sends power to the solenoid, uh, solenoid engages and uh, it stops the brake fluid from coming back out of the uh, front brakes back into the master cylinder and when it does that it locks the front brakes down and that's all it does you let go of the button cylinder disengages front brakes release and away you go so uh, that's what i'm installing i'm also going to install a uh, an adjustable brake proportional valve uh, the proportional valve i have on the truck right now has got problems so I'm putting a, an adjustable one on so I can add a little more brake uh, pressure to the back tires. I'm going to be running uh, bigger and wider rear tires and I'm moving some weight back for drag racing and stuff. So being able to adjust, adjust the brake bias from the front to the back is going to help uh, get the truck stopping better. If one has so much braking pressure on the front I can add some to the back, kind of balance the truck out and get it stopping good. So uh, install this as I'm installing a line lock. and. Uh, about to dive in right now. All right, y'all, well, the first step when installing a line lock is to locate where you're gonna mount the line lock at, either on a bracket or on the firewall. Somewhere close to the master cylinder is the best. Try to keep it nice and tidy, somewhere where you can get to it real easy with the brake lines and, and uh, get the wiring to where you can get it to your switch and everything. Uh, instead of trying to build a bracket, I'm just gonna mount mine directly to the firewall. I got a good spot back here right beside the master cylinder. So uh, I'm about to make a little template and uh, where I get the bolt holes uh, figured out on my template and line it up on the, on the firewall, drill a couple holes and uh, bolt the uh, um, line lock up to the firewall and then I'm going to take the brake lines apart. I got to make one line that goes from the master cylinder to the line lock and then I'm going to use the existing brake line that goes into the master cylinder and plug it into the out port of the line lock and then that's pretty much going to have the line lock installed and um, then I'll move on to the um, brake proportional valve which is located on this truck it's down on a cross member in front of the, in, uh, the front of the frame right in front of the motor so we we'll get to doing that first thing you got to do is make sure you have figure out which part of your master cylinder is for the front brakes or the rear brakes uh, I'm going to install this line lock on my front brakes so I can lock the front brakes and release the back brakes. So on this master cylinder, the rear section of the master cylinder operates the front brakes and the front section operates the rear. So I'm going to be using the, the rear line on the master cylinder to go back to this line lock and then uh, go on from there installing it. So uh, about to dive in, start making a template and move on to the next step.
All right, y'all. I went ahead and got everything finished up. I got all the brake lines ran. I actually have the brakes bled. Uh, the adjustable proportional valve already installed. The line lock is installed. I actually have it wired. It was all really simple and pretty boring to just show a, mon a full montage of just route lines and bleeding the brakes and all. So went ahead and got all that done. Uh, wiring this uh, line lock up was pretty simple. Just uh, go to a chassis ground and then I just run a uh, fused wire up to a switch on the steering column and then uh, out here the line lock and everything works out on it. So, so now I'm going to show you what I replaced on the uh, proportional valve. Uh, this is a stock style proportional valve for one of these trucks and uh, pretty simple looking but it's got two lines that come into it from the uh, master cylinder. The front line goes in here and the back line goes in here and uh, see on the front line it comes into here and it goes out out here to your uh, two front brakes and then the back line comes into here and it comes out here but uh, there's a little balancing valve inside of here that um, is supposed to be a protection valve if you lose a brake pressure on one side or the other it kind of blocks it off it doesn't really work all that well and it makes it a pain to bleed and mine was leaking internally so getting rid of this and just going to the adjustable proportion of valve uh, so instead of having all this set up I'm going to run the I got the uh, front line running into a T and then out to split to the uh, front and then the back line just runs down to my adjustable proportional valve which is bolted on the frame uh, right where this one's bolted to and uh, comes straight into the valve, goes straight out of the other side of the valve and everything works. So I'm going to show you a picture of the proportional valve. And as you can see, I am not really happy with the way the lines are all routed, but it's really hard to get into where everything is with the motor sitting in place. And I really wasn't expecting to do this step, or else I'd have done it all while the motor was pulled out. But I'm going to be pulling the motor out here pretty soon, uh, do some other work, so I'm going to tidy up all the brake lines on it. And uh, I'll deal with that problem then, but everything works, and there's no leaks, and everything's good and tight. So uh, move on into the cab, and I'll uh, show you the how the switch works and how to operate the line lock and uh, then we're going to go make some smoke so have a good time with it. Alright y'all so now I'm sitting in the cab of the truck I'm going to show y'all how I have my line lock mounted and how to operate it. Uh, as far as mounting your line lock button uh, it really depends on the kind of vehicle you have or, or what you're comfortable with or what you're trying to use the line lock for. Uh, people with like a stick shift truck that's trying to use it for hill climbs would probably put the line lock button on the shifter uh, that way they could easily access it and be able to shift and get moving but like for me drag racing I'm going to be doing my burnouts like in a burnout box where I'm not moving and not trying to do nothing crazy with it so it was really easy for me I, I mounted mine uh, on the steering column just right here at the steering wheel I would have mounted it on the steering wheel but I don't want to mess up the stock style steering wheel so I just took a uh, hose clamp hose clamp the uh, bracket to the steering column and uh, it's really easy to get to it's right here where i can hold my hand on the steering wheel uh, center part of the steering wheel try to just in case the truck tries to slide sideways as it's doing a burnout i can kind of move the steering wheel around but it's really easy to press the brake pedal down click the line lock and then you release the brake pedal and give it a second or two for the brake fluid to release out of the back brakes stab the throttle on it and it's real easy to shift the gears to get the wheel speed up so you can get the tires good and hot. And uh, whenever you want to get out of the burnout, just let go of the button, grab the steering wheel, steer it, or run the burnout as far as you want to, let out the throttle, and uh, burnout's done with. So it's real easy to work set up like this. Uh, I like the way it's sitting like the way I got it mounted. So um, I'd like to set it on a steering wheel whenever I get aftermarket steering wheel, but setup works very really good. I got my trans brake button mounted on the side of my shifter so I can go straight from the trans brake up to the shifter and start banging the gears. So it's really kind of about as ergonomically set up as you can on a you know square body Chevrolet but everything works out and I like the way it mounts so now let's get on out of here and hit the road and start doing some burnouts.
right, y'all. I just about wrapped this video up. Hope y'all enjoy watching me uh, tear the hides off of my wore out drag radios. Already got some new ones ordered. Uh, they'll be here at the end of this week. Uh, get them installed and start making some new adventures on the truck. I already have some stuff lined up. Uh, planning on going to a drag strip here the next uh, uh, end of this month or probably the end of next month. Uh, see what this old truck will do at the drag strip. I uh, got some upgrades going to be doing uh, this spring and summer, getting ready to go back down to cruising the coast again. And uh, hopefully everything will work out and get down there. And I actually be able to take some videos and uh, some more pictures and everything. Be able to show you all some of the upgrades and some more of the stuff going on with the truck. Uh, I have some more other projects going on when we start working on too. So I uh, hope you all enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe at the bottom of the page. And keep on coming back for more here at Alicat Customs.